Hello and welcome to Today We Craft. Today we're going to be showing you how to make this really simple casserole cosy. You're going to need some insulated or foil backed wadding. I'll leave the links for where I get these things from in the description below. You're also going to need two fat quarters of fabric, pencil, scissors, tape measure, fabric scissors, and a sewing machine. Okay, so there's a couple of measurements that we need to take before we can get started. Now I know these look complicated, but they're really not. And this is the reason why we're going to be able to make any size of casserole cozy, just using this one template. First measurement, labeled A, is going to be the full width of your casserole dish. Mine is 11 inches. I'm going to take my 11 inches plus 12, takes me to 13, and then divided by two, takes me to six and a half. My second measurement is the length of my casserole dish. Now my casserole dish is square, so it's actually going to be the same as my first measurement. But if it wasn't, if it was rectangular, this measurement would be longer. Measure it from the edge here, all the way across the back to the edge here. Don't include the handle at this time. Now we're going to measure the handle. If your casserole dish doesn't have a handle, then you can omit these steps. C is the length of the handle times two. My handle is one inch, which means my C measurement is going to be two inches. Measurement D is the width of the handle. Now, because this pattern is going to be on a fold, all we want is the width of the handle itself. Mine is two inches, therefore my D measurement is still two inches. Now we're going to transfer these measurements to the template. To make your template, start off with a piece of paper and draw your A and B measurements along two sides. Add your C measurement onto the end here. Mine is two inches. Draw your D measurement from the points where B and C meet. If it helps, you can also draw it at the end. Now we're going to draw the curve around the corner of our casserole cosy. The easiest way of doing this is to lay your casserole onto your template. Make sure that the top edge of your casserole is aligned with the edge of the template here. The front edge of the casserole is aligned where the B and C measurements meet. Draw around the curve of the casserole dish. Draw an S shape for a nice curve if you have a handle. Join up the top corner and your template is complete. Now you just need to cut it out. Do not use fabric scissors. Every time someone uses fabric scissors on paper, someone's bobbin runs out. Now that we have our template, we're going to cut out all of our fabric pieces. Start off by taking your piece of fabric and folding it in half and then in half again. Place your template over the top and in the corner. You should have the single fold along the long edge of your pattern and the double fold along the short edge. Cut around the pattern. Repeat this for backing fabric you also want two pieces of insulated wadding done the same way. Take one of the pieces of wadding, lay it on the table and then place your cotton over the top. Use quilt clips or pins to secure the two pieces of fabric together and then we're just going to run a line of stitching down the centre both ways. If you like you can use a ruler and an invisible ink pen to draw the line first if it makes it easier for you. Now remove the pins. Place your casserole dish centrally on the fabric and use washi tape to attach each four sides to the inside of the bowl. Turn your casserole dish over. On one corner, pinch the excess fabric so it sits nice and flat on the other two sides. Using a pen or chalk marker, draw a line where the fabric touches the bowl. Do this on both sides. Now remove the fabric from the casserole dish. This will tell you where your seam needs to be. Fold your fabric corner to corner. You'll then see the line where you need to sew. Make this clearer by using a ruler and a pen or a chalk marker. Sew all four corners where marked. Once you've sewn all four corners, you want to snip off the excess. Now, repeat this entire process with your second piece of wadding and your backing fabric. 
once you have the two pieces sewn we're going to sew them together so you want to put them together so you have both pieces of fabric facing each other tuck all the corners in so they're matching then we're going to use pins or quilters clips to attach the pieces of fabric together start with the two end pieces trying to make sure that you match up the seams don't worry if one is slightly bigger than the other at the moment because we're going to trim off the excess quilters clips are absolutely fantastic. I'll leave a link in the description below of where you can get some. You can see on this end that one piece is much larger than the other, so I'm just going to delicately trim away a bit of this excess. Now we're going to sew all the way around the edge, leaving a one quarter inch seam allowance, making sure that one of the sides we leave open. To remind myself where that's going to be, I'm going to leave a mark on one side. Once you've sewn all the way around, trim off any excess fabric. Now we're going to turn the whole thing inside out, or right side in, depending on the way you look at it. Make sure you poke out all the corners. We're now just going to top stitch round the edge to make it nice and neat, and also to seal up this hole. Use quilters clips or pins to pin around the edge, which will keep it nice and flat while you're sewing. Fold the open seam inwards and clip to secure. To finish, we're going to top stitch around the edge of the casserole cosy as close to the edge as possible. Ah, typical. Right, who did it? Who used fabric scissors on paper? I know it was one of you. off any excess threads and that is your casserole dish cosy completed. If you have a moment, here's some more videos that we think you might enjoy.